what's going on everybody? I have another lithium battery review for you. Uh, this one was sent to me from Fune. It is a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate or an LIFEPO4 battery. It's a 100 amp hour 12 volt and we are going to use it in this Fast Tracker running the trolling motor and the fish finder on it. But first, let's talk through some of the features, attributes, and benefits of this battery. Obviously, I mentioned it's a lithium ion phosphate battery, which means you get a ton of advantages over a traditional lead acid or absorbent glass map battery. One of the biggest benefits is going to be weight. I mean, this thing, it kind of feels like a toy. Uh, I mean, my, my five-year-old son can pick it up. It's not a big deal to carry around, especially if you're using it on a small boat. Uh, you're putting it in and out of a kayak or something like that, and you're super weight sensitive. Uh, a lithium iron phosphate battery is totally the way to go. But let's get a real figure for what we think the weight difference is. So I have my handy dandy scale here. We're gonna put this guy on here first. And it's going to come in at about 27 pounds for this entire assembly, uh, which is pretty good. Now, what we're going to do is bring in a lead acid battery. So this one comes in at 50 pounds uh, for a lead acid battery. And uh, one of the biggest things there is I have two of those in my boat. So I have this pretty small aluminum boat and then two group 27 lead acid batteries. And those, so those are 100 pounds for the two or 27 pounds for the Fune battery. That is a huge weight savings off the back of this boat. It's gonna make a big difference when it comes to putting this thing on and off the, on and off the trailer, uh, especially in skinny water. So like I said, this thing's like 27 pounds. It's, it's kind of, a, it's pretty awesome. Weight reduction is obviously a huge benefit when it comes to using an LFP battery, but you also need to consider a couple other factors. One of them being the cycle life. You can get 250 to 500 cycles out of a lead acid battery or an ATM battery, but when it comes to an LFP battery, you can get thousands of cycles, uh, which is a huge benefit. So when you're looking at the cost difference between kind of maybe what you already have versus a lithium battery, definitely take a look at the number of cycles that you can get, and that's going to be years of life out of a battery like this versus a lead acid. So the BMS on this really has all the features that I'm looking for in a battery. Um, you can discharge it at 1C or 400 amps. It has over voltage, under voltage protection, over current, short circuit, uh, all the good stuff there. It also has low temperature cutoff, which is something that I've talked about on several videos. So it has a pretty good suite of features when it comes to a BMS within this battery. Uh, but you know, with all of these things, you always wonder, are you really getting 100 amps out of it? So I bought a battery capacity tester and we're gonna try it out on this thing to see if we can really get 100 amp hours out of it. As you can see here, we're running through the battery capacity test. It's pulling a 10 amp load and it's going to do that until the battery hits 10 volts. So I fully charged the battery and it ran for several hours, ran it overnight really. And when I woke up in the morning, here's what we ended up with, a total of 106 amp hours. And you can see that right here, very nice. That's six amp hours more than the advertised capacity on this battery. That's pretty nice. All right, how about that 106 amp hours out of this thing? That is a ton of power, folks. So this thing can run uh, this boat on a 12-volt trolling motor all day and then some in the wind. Uh, looking forward to getting out in there and running it. I'm also going to put it in my bigger boat and run the electronics off of it. I've got a couple graphs, GoPro, stuff like that on the other boat. I want to see how it does with a little bit lower load on it. Um, should get a ton of runtime out of it, especially at 106 amp hours. All right, so we've been using that uh, Fune battery here for our electronics all morning. We've been out here for a couple hours. I'm running two Garmin 93 SVs the LiveScope box, as well as a router, and my GoPro has been pulling on it, and uh, we're still at 12.7 volts where we started, so I think we got plenty of life left in it. It's been working out great so far. All right, now we're gonna go hook up to the other boat and try this battery out with a trolling motor setup. So if you can't tell, it's insanely windy out here today. Uh, I've got the Fune battery hooked up to the trolling motor like we talked about. Uh, it's performing awesome. I've got no problem I got plenty of power. If I put this thing on five, I mean, we're just jamming right through the wind, no problem here. All right, we got the boat tucked back in. And with that, I have no complaints about the Fune battery. So far, it's been doing excellent. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, I'm going to go ahead and drop a link in the description so you can check that out if you'd like. I appreciate you coming along. We'll see you next time.